that allows an external device. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome, or maybe even welcome back to Sternholm Reviews, the channel that focuses on great sound and film experiences in the home and continues to grow with your help. So please tap, tap, tap and subscribe if you like deep diving content and my perspective on all things audio. Today, I'm reviewing a set of monoblock power amplifiers from New Prime called Evolution One. I got curious about these monoblocks after I tested their MCX home cinema power amplifiers for an online magazine, and they took me by surprise with a very warm, fast, and powerful sound at around 14, 1500 euros. I compared it directly to the 10 times more expensive Techniques SER1 reference class digital amplifier and was impressed, uh, especially with the dynamic capabilities. The MCX was not as silent or smooth or clean as the Technics, and over time it was prone to give some listening fatigue, maybe due to some excessive harmonics coloring. But for the price, it delivered a stunning performance on the same speakers. And that made me curious about the Evolution 1 monoblocks that at 8,000 euros a pair is half the price of the Technics SER1. Speaking to what this channel is all about, namely sound value. The Evolution 1 is the first class D amp with an input impedance of 1 mega ohms and a switching frequency of 700 kilohertz. Whatever that means, New Prime claims that it has better sonic performance than almost any other Class D amps on the market, and it is as good as the best state-of-the-art solid-state amps that has usually a much higher price. This must be good. New Prime's patented circuit design uses a naturally occurring analog modulating signal that adds neither noise or jitter. Rather than reverting to off-the-shelf solutions, according to New Prime, they have developed everything in-house to unlock the switching amp's full potential without the difficulties other designs have, including things like distortions and phase shift. The design team says that their technology makes New Prime products deliver a vast soundstage, lightning-fast dynamics, ultra-low distortion and noise, with the music emerging from a pristine black background. All the things I look for in high-end audio reproduction and very important in my sound profile that leans toward the natural and realistic reproduction of acoustic instruments. I simply love fast speakers and amplifiers as they really convey those microtransients that makes real instruments and voices sound real with the impressive delivery. For the very same reasons, I tend to favor larger speaker systems that can move sufficient air to reproduce the dynamics and body at realistic levels with a sufficient headroom. Powerful high-end amplifiers have traditionally been very large, very expensive things that produce huge amounts of heat. With switching technology, this is no longer the case. The MCX amplifiers I tested uh, delivered over 500 watts per channel from a small size, almost closed cabinet. The same is true for the Evolution 1 monoblocks that looks and feels rather classy in comparison and even has no ventilation holes on top of the enclosures as they don't emit much heat. Still, they deliver 390 watts of peak power into 4 ohms and 25 amps current to the output stage. That's pretty impressive numbers. What makes the Evolution 1 amplifier stand out from other Class D amplifiers is the new prime hybrid technology that combines Class D amplification with Class A input stage and more. The result is an amplifier that delivers something very different that is surprisingly smooth, warm sounding and lightning fast. The Evolution 1 stand on some nice soft feet that isolate them from the surface 
and remove the possibility of scratching other components. The amps are available in black and silver finishes. These over here are the black ones. There's a little discreet relay power button to the left that you push and hold to turn on and off. In the back we'll find the power input, some decent speaker terminals that accept banana plugs, and the choice of balanced or unbalanced line inputs. To keep the signal path as transparent and noise-free as possible, I would always recommend that you use balanced signals if the connecting equipment has it. Balanced signals also has the advantage that uh, the cables can be much longer without any subjective loss of quality. This is also what is used throughout studios and at concerts where you would rarely find an unbalanced signal anywhere. Unfortunately, you can't connect both types at the same time to the Evolution ones, as the switch here uh, does not cut between the two, meaning that they interact with each other. This would have been very useful to use the power amplifiers with two different systems. Instead, you have to manually change it if needed, so only one pair is connected at the same time. Lastly, there's a trigger input that allows an external device like a preamplifier to turn the amplifier on and off, which is extremely practical. Here I must simply criticize the lack of a loop port, especially with a monoblock that almost always will have a sibling in your system. This means that your preamp needs to have at least two trigger outputs. Not cool, new prime. Loads of preamps will only have one trigger output, hence the problem. In case of this review, I partnered the Evolution ones with a Linkdorf MP50 preamp that has several configurable uh, trigger outputs. With the balanced inputs and trigger cables, you can place the new Prime Evolution 1 monoblocks virtually everywhere as you don't need to manually turn them on and off and the signal cables can be as long as you wish, within reason of course. High-end amplifier designers go through great lengths to isolate the left and the right channels from each other so uh, they can eliminate any possibility of one signal contaminating the other. This can be in terms of distortion or what is known as crosstalk, where a portion of the signal in one channel contaminates the other channel and vice versa. When the channel's absolute integrity is ensured, you have the best basis to achieve perfect imaging or stereo perspective uh, when practicing focused listening. Moving each channel into its own component if effectively eliminates any chance of any crosstalk. Another reason uh, to go for mono blocks could be a practical one. Each block uh, could be placed very close to each speaker, allowing for very short speaker cables, for example. Nowadays, uh, designers of Sirius Hi-Fi are very good at eliminating crosstalk with great circuit design, like with this PM10 from Marantz, that uh, is a completely dual mono balanced design all the way through. You could say that mono blocks are the ultimate expression of that philosophy. In order to review the power amps, uh, we need to combine them with a preamplifier and a sound source. In this case, I have tested the Evolution once uh, with this very natural sounding a linked off MP50 preamplifier, which features balanced outputs. I also played around using the Cocktail X45 Pro player previously reviewed as a player preamp, as well as the excellent Sennheiser HDV820 headphone amp slash DAC slash preamp for preamplification when comparing with the Marantz PM10, but ended up liking the combination with the Linkdorf uh, MP50 the best for overall convenience, even while it does not sound quite as good as the Sennheiser using the Cocktail X45 Pro as an analog sound source. Oh, the choices, the choices. Convenience over sound. Talking about the sound. Hello, mama. These amplifiers are not your typical run-of-the-mill class D amplifiers. 
that sometimes can sound a little grainy or edgy and have a tendency towards listening fatigue. In fact, when listening to them, you don't have any idea that you're actually listening to this type of amplifier. The evolution once took me totally by surprise from the first beat, showing off dynamic skills that surpasses that of the Technics uh, SER1, combined with a very smooth top end. While the R1 sounds just a tad cleaner, it is no big trade-off. My favorite evaluation tracks sound free and alive, and I would not be able to guess that this was Class D style amplification. For comparison, I pulled out the PM10 from Marantz, which is their top-of-the-line integrated reference amplifier. It is a great amplifier in its own right that really shines when being given the beans, but in comparison with the new Prime monoblocks, it sounds a bit more edgy, with the less of that silky smoothness that the evolution brings, especially when played at lower volumes. Bass is a bit fuller too with the evolution, especially with the, the harmonics sounding just right. Also, the delivery feels more immediate and visceral. No matter the genre or volume, the evolution once just sounded free, unpressured, smooth and very, very transparent. The slight coloring added is simply one of musicality and competence and does not feel forced upon you in any way. The best way to describe it is that it emits the smoothness and warmth like some of the best uh, Class A amplifier designs, only with much more power available, which really suits my Techniques SUR1 speakers very well. And there's uh, one other very important discovery. The listening fatigue I found after prolonged listening to the new Prime MCX series on the same speakers, not at all to be found with the Evolution 1 amps. You can listen day in and out on these, which really is a testament to their neutrality and distortion-free sound. They just sound so right. While 8,000 euros a pair is a lot of money, it's a really great sound value for uh, hi-fi performance on this level, comparable to power amplifiers costing two, four, six times more. The new Prime Evolution 1 will be my new reference to beat for power amplifiers in that price range. Yes, it's a side effect of being a reviewer. I ended up not sending them back. What better review can I give? I figured that I could not live without these amplifiers that do a especially great job with the reference speakers I use and the kind of music I enjoy the most. The new Prime Evolution ones are easy to place everywhere. They do not require any special cooling. They sound truly amazing and only have a few quirks like uh, the missing trigger loop in the back. It's a great example of fresh thinking in the amplifier design, refining and improving all the advantages of Class D technology in combination with a Class A input, resulting in a bulletproof, long-lasting sound pleasure that will deliver any music with integrity and musicality. If you're in the market for power amplifiers in that kind of price range, the new Prime Evolution ones represent a very exciting possibility that I urge you to check out. Thank you so much for watching. Please tap, tap, tap and subscribe to help the almighty YouTube algorithm grow the channel. Remember, you can also subscribe to the Sternholm Reviews Sonic Snacks playlist, which is constantly updated with the music I use the most when I'm reviewing gear. Find the links for Spotify, Tidal, Copas and YouTube music in the description below. I'm Morten Sternholm, reminding you to just listen. See you soon.